You get full screen. Cooking time. Cooking boys. Cooking in the kitchen. We got we got all kinds of a mess in here. Nothing is put away. I've been forbidden by my girlfriend from putting away anything in the new kitchen. Because I might put something in a place where it shouldn't be. Let's get this box off of this. We can't have that. We're going to need... Alright, for our cooking today, we're going to need a pan. <laughs> where is the cat? We have been missing the cat today. Where's the cat? Sammy's right here. Okay, good. Hey, Sammy. Alright, so... We're doing good. We got our pan. Now we need to locate some buns. Buns are a crucial ingredient in hot dogs. Where could they be, you might ask? I don't fucking know. In a box somewhere. Cooking up some lunch time. We got some buns. They're squished. And of course, the main attraction. We got Hillshire Farm Cheddar Worst. This is a hot dog with cheese in it. Far superior to your layman's hot dog. What the fuck is that noise? Alright, let's I got an electric stove here. We're gonna put it on on the little the little guy. Let's heat up some of these dogs. Get, get you a good view of that there. There's two hot dogs in a pan. Unprecedented technique. It helps if you roll them around. Because there's not much else to do. Now I'm going to go pee. Oh, you hear that? That's the sound of hot dogs. They're not done yet, though. Sammy likes hot dogs, right? Say hi. Sammy, say hi. Look, Sammy, fuck. Here we've got a paper plate. 
which may or may not be better for the environment than non-paper plates. But I certainly don't have to wash them. Two of buns for two of dogs. Got to open these bad boys up. And there's that. And the final ingredient, if I can find it, is going to be my Pittsman's. Pittsman's pays my family a lot of money to do this show. What the fuck are you beeping at me for? Oh, it beeps, it beeps at me to tell me there's a door in well, why the fuck are you closing it for? It's stuck on something. What's going on? Tell me what you need, Fridge. Tell me what you need. I know what you need. The reason why you beat it. I got what you need. I got it. Alright, how about now? Did you be happy with that? No. Oh, I didn't use this thing on top. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. That's what was beeping. It was the fridge. Now you'll know the cheddar wursts are getting to be done when the cheese starts oozing out. Now you can see the dogs start to crack a little bit there. That's a good sign. That means that they're getting hot. But they're not there yet. Cooking tip. This goes for all cooking. If you have a hot pan and you remove it from the stove, the pan will remain hot. Do not touch it with your hands. We're almost done. The best thing about lab dog is it shares half of the words of hot dog. That's, that's, that's your done hot dog right there. So we're going we're gonna to place the hot dog in the buns now, one at a time. You don't want to, you don't want to put two dogs in one bun. One in each is fine. And then uh, rinse out your pan. It's easier to clean the pan if you rinse it immediately. There may be some sort of danger to rinsing a hot pan. I don't know. But this is how I do it. I don't want to wash the dishes after it crusts and all that shit. And that's it. Hot dogs are done. Back to Netrunner. So your reg regularly scheduled programming. Ah. Water on hot pans means warped pans, Captain Rat. Well, let's take a look into the legitimacy of the pan, uh, of the claim. Water, hot pan. Why is it bad to run cold water over a hot pan? Washing a hot pan in cold water can cause it to warp, says Chris Tracy, manager of Califon Culinary Relations. Calphalon. The bottom of the pan will become uneven and the pan will not sit on the burner securely. This can cause a safety issue if the pan spills or falls off the stove. Foods may not lie flat in the pan during cooking. Okay, this guy sounds like he's really stuck up. I wouldn't listen to him. 
I agree. I'm back. You agree? Yeah, I agree. I, I got a salad. It's not nearly as sexy as hot dogs. Hmm. All right. So we've learned something about pans today. That's good. Don't tell my girlfriend that. I don't think I'm actually in Stimac week four. <laughs>